The search continues for the remains of Sade Robinson. Today, deputies went out searching the depths of Lake Michigan. Bill Miston takes us now to the water where the investigation continues. The search for the rest of Sade Robinson's remains in Lake Michigan continued Friday. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office called in a volunteer group from Black River Falls specialized in recovery operations. It's a needle in a haystack. Just trying to trying to figure out, you know, what we could see in there and uh, and and if there's anything in there. That's the big thing with this case. Is not 100% sure that uh, where where the rest of the stuff's at. Keith Cormican, another volunteer with Bruce's Legacy and a sheriff's deputy, spent hours just offshore from Warnemont Park. First, using towable sonar. I was really hoping that it was going to be a, a lot sandier. But the rocky shallows didn't give them a clear picture. This is the sonar right here. This is the camera, and then the light, and then the grabber. So they turned to a remote vehicle. Searching by, you know, with a camera. Nothing was found today. It's tough searching in the rocks like that when we're looking for small items. Prosecutors say Maxwell Anderson killed Sade Robinson. Her severed leg was first found in the area on April 2nd, and a torso and arm believed to be Robinson's were found Thursday morning, washed up along a remote portion of beach in South Milwaukee. The group is named after Bruce Cormican, Keith's brother, a firefighter who died after a water rescue years ago. Keith runs the search and rescue organization in his brother's memory, but after several hours, the group packed up and pulled out. This case is just horrible. Um, I just can't even imagine the family having to deal with what they've had to deal with. We tend to try to drive harder to, to help them find, you know, find everything they need. The worst part is, is not being able to find what we're looking for. But says they're ready to come back if and when they get the call. That was our Bill Miston reporting. Anderson is due back in court on Monday. Tonight, Shade Robinson's family will be holding a memorial at Kilbourne Reservoir Park.